Hi guys, Essence here, and today I'm back with another My Take video. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about Jessie, a solo Korean rap artist. Uh, she's very popular in Korea, and personally I am a fan of her because I like her personality, but recently she's been getting called out more for people who think that she's appropriating black culture and some people who think that she is blackfishing. So with this video, I'm very open-minded and I try to think about both sides of the argument. And uh, when you guys leave your comments, just make sure you're being mindful and aren't undermining the feelings of anyone who does feel offended. Even if you see people that aren't offended, please always be mindful of those who are because you don't want to step and speak over black fans because this is our culture, you know, and it, culture is very important in life. So uh, let's get into it. So Jessie is a solo Korean rap artist. Uh, she was born in New York, but raised in New Jersey. I'm not sure she was raised in like the suburbs of New Jersey or like around the more um, urban area of New Jersey. Either way, she's born and raised in New Jersey. Uh, she moved to Korea to be a girl group trainee, but she ended up being a soloist. There she became friends with uh, Tiffany from SNSD, where they went to the same international school. And yeah, she's really popular in Korea. Uh, she's on shows like uh, Sister Slam Dunk. She's on shows like Running Man, shows like that. And she's known for being very um, blunt and opinionated and she's very honest when she talks. So black fans have recently been upset with Jessie because of her new comeback, Nunu Nana, where her background dancers seem to have a lot of black hair it seem. Well, they have a lot of black hairstyles. Some people may say that hairstyles don't just belong to black people, but when a hairstyle originates from a certain culture, then obviously they do have ownership over that. And obviously people are free to get whatever hairstyle they want, but it's more so of people being upset that instead of really appreciating the culture, they're more doing it for an aesthetic. Obviously no one wants to wear, you shouldn't wear bendies for an aesthetic, you shouldn't wear like a humbuck for an aesthetic, so why wear a hairstyle just for the aesthetic, right? Especially when it's a hairstyle that's not like suited for your hair type, you know? So we're going to talk about Jessie. Um, we're going to talk about Jessie and her comeback and just people, problems people have with her overall. So a lot of people think that Jessie uh, does black fishing because of the way she talks and how tan she is. And yes, she's naturally tan, but at the same time, she seems to tan a lot and sometimes you know she's darker than black people seem to be right like if you look at her her skin color is very dark compared to her regular tan and it just feels like she gets darker with each comeback I mean that's up to you to decide how you feel about her tanning and I guess it's good that she's embracing her skin tone because of the stigma against dark skin in Korea but she does seem to tan more with each comeback um next would be the hairstyles that are given to her um background dancers a lot of people feel upset by that and just think that she's using it as like she doesn't have it herself but her allowing her dancers to have that hairstyle because I'm sure with P Nation she has a lot of creative control so for her to support Black Lives Matter but then allow her background dancers to sort of appropriate black culture it doesn't go hand in hand together and it seems a bit um two-sided right someone once called Jesse out and said you'll never be black and she responded to that by saying I know so I'm sure she's seen that some people have this perception of her that she's trying to be black or that she's trying to blackfish so I just wish she would be more aware of the situation and do more to um help her image because after seeing that you have to know that she knows that black stands slash fans think that she's appropriating black culture right so for her to allow her black background dancers to come out with these like originated in black culture hairstyles it's a bit offensive and tone deaf of her during these current times especially um especially after her support of black lives matter it seems a bit tone deaf and um ignorant right uh, next would be how people have had problems with her lyrics before like her one lyric when she released her song drip with jay park uh her one lyric was diamonds blue like a crip and a lot of people were like 
what she know about that like why would she even use that in her lyrics like and i have to admit i do agree with the people who are like why would she use that lyric because even though she grew up in newark new jersey she lives in south korea now right so i don't know if she has any affiliations with the gangs i'm gonna guess she doesn't it doesn't seem like she does you know so for her to use that lyric affiliating it with like a gang it sort of seems like a bit much for her especially since it seems outside of her area of knowledge um uh overall i just think that jesse needs to be more aware of the complaints she's getting instead of maybe brushing them off as hate just accept constructive criticism and do better especially since she's shown her support for black lives matter she should definitely be more mindful and aware of how black fans feel about these issues so she should be more careful with the hair and like outfits she chooses her background dancers because they can come off a bit as cherry picking black culture and using it just to suit her rap aesthetic right so yeah and obviously like always i'll have the pictures so you guys let me know what you think about this and if you think jesse um cherry picks from black culture or not uh and let me know if how you guys feel about jesse in general as a person uh and you know subscribe to my channel give this video a big like and share and stay tuned for my next video thank you